Hello there, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Gonna get some messages for you, Scorpio. Welcome in if you are new. Thank you for being here. Well, if you're returning, thanks for being here. And if you're new, join us. Hit the subscribe button. Okay. Gonna get some general tarot card messages for your week ahead. Scorpio, remember that these are general messages and so all of them may not apply to all of you. So take what applies and the rest, let it fly, Scorpio. We're going to look at your past, current, future energy, in love, career, money and all of these things. And energy, what you're feeling, what you're going through, what you're receiving and what you're letting go of. Alright, let's see. Past energy, nine of cups. So you have or had a lot to be thankful for. Cancerian energy, Pisces, Scorpio, water energy. So this is also emotional fulfillment, happiness. Possibly some of you started a business of your dream. I feel tarot card reading, honestly. Um, that's making you happy, all right? Because you're able to use your service. I feel, I feel a spiritual gift because the way he's dressed, I feel. You're using your spiritual energy strength behind that that is so powerful oh that feels like grace and confidence and truth and using something to it's you know it's the opposite of exploitation you know fruitfulness replenishing this is magician energy a lot of things are working out for you scorpio some of you could have uh a strong Leo placements on your chart past energy maybe someone a Leo possibly wanted to return to you and that's making you happy you know it's boosting you up your ego or this is um, someone leaving or this is a situation a business a circumstance that's leaving you because you stood up look at this it feels like you're on guard here you're happy but you, you feel confident that you're protected and then you have the strength card, which is your lion, your defense. And in this th person, our situation is leaving you. Because it's like when they came, they met up on this strength that you possess that maybe a lot of people don't see because you're so quiet and soft-spoken and so mysterious. I hear the word eerie. You're a bit eerie. Gosh, I can feel that eerie energy. As if you're very powerful, I do feel that. And so people may want to come and may want to think they can take advantage of you because of how you look. But they don't know internally who you are. You're your strength. You're the lion, charmer here, magician energy. You're very powerful when it comes to magic, energy transmutation, alchemy. And then this energy left and you're like, hmm, you know, you feel good about defending yourself. This could be someone that you were with. I feel business, honestly. It could be someone that maybe wanted to come in and investigate your business or something of that sort. Okay? And that was your past energy. Alright, so some of someone could be moving. As I said, leaving, changing, taking flight, traveling. Traveling across Africa. Yes. Yes, yes, traveling across Africa, right? Your current energy, you no know, Scorpio. We have the Queen of Swords blocking, so I do feel like you blocked a connection here. Blocking being adamant, also focusing intently on creating the lifestyle that you dream of. So the Queen of Swords is one that knows how to focus intently. Queen of Swords also takes action swiftly, moves towards what they want, speak up is clear. Queen of Swords energy. Queen of Swords is, um, I also see. Um, I also see, um, 
so you so even though that's what i'm saying so you're blocking your so maybe this is for another in another perspective where you look hardened on the outside but you are very emotional and intuitive so you're, you're good with your intuition you're good with emotional energy energy transmutation looking at things from different perspectives knowing how to align energies so that you know, looking behind the scenes, I feel also looking at things from a different perspective. You know how to shift your focus and focus directly. That's the kind of person I'm reading for. I feel like very powerful energy. There's something that you're focusing on or on getting clarity in. Maybe you're meditating. Oh, there's there's like the five of wands energy a fuss or like a clarity fire sign. Again, this could be in business or in relationships. They're really wanting what you really want some clarity in Scorpio here so you're in focus mode so this could be definitely something as having to do that has to do with work a new beginning um, maybe two, two different opinions about some I um, two different opinions here and someone needing to speak up but unclear Maybe need some organization. I don't know. You know, that's the energy you're in now. Taking a break, stepping back, relaxing. Mm -hmm. Torment. Yeah. So I do feel like you're 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 stepping back a bit, relaxing, trying to figure up what figure out what is this energy that needs to clear up. I feel like it's tormenting you, it's taunting you. And so you're really blocking, maybe you are locking yourself away so that you can meditate to find clarity. So even though you are happy, but there's a time for happiness and there's a time for what? Not sadness, but seriousness. You know, I feel like that's the mood you're in. Really focused, serious, determined to get through whatever situation is hanging on or lingering within your energy here that has to do with a past connection, possibly in business or in love. In the future, we see you having the upper hand with the Seven of Swords. And even those that oppressed you or fought against you will see you stand up and be the victor here. Okay? Judgment. Hey, this is what I'm saying. So I feel a renewal coming, a change in outcome. All right? So if you feel that you'll emerge, like this is an emergence of you or your strength, your bravery maybe, when you decide to speak up for yourself because you're going through a tough situation now that's challenging you when you emerge or whenever you take that action forward it's it's judgment it's like it's it's that breakthrough that you needed to to learn or to know or to realize that you can to stand up for yourself here i see you have been working on yourself internally and that's why you win I feel like whenever you open your mouth and speak, whatever it is that you say, you will succeed. You will win because you have been doing the internal work. You've been studying. Some of you may have been studying about the situation, intuition, looking up, researching. Okay. To get clarity. Could definitely be having to do with a money, a partnership, a business partnership from the past. And there's going to be clarity. All right, just speak up and speak the truth. That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like things will work out, possibly for both people, Scorpio. But the the treasure is on your side. That's what I have coming up for you in, in your next seven days ahead. I do hope you found these messages helpful to help you along your journey. Thank you so much for being here. Remember that you can be to have everything and anything in this world that you desire, Scorpio, because you're all and all is within you. Much love. All right. Scorpio made a decision to go back to your past or to start something new with your past. You're taking that move forward. I feel like you've been investigating or looking into something, studying more, getting more information, working on yourself. You uncovered some truth or this is your energy, Scorpio energy where you're able to really stand more in your power here and your strength, knowing who you are, so that you have the you have what it takes to return to this past connection. You've made your up your mind and you're heading. Listen, I feel you're it's like you want this new beginning with a past connection in love. 